Five seconds faster than yesterday. Oh. You knew it. She's ready, aren't you, Miss? Yeah, she might be at that. Might be. She'll run any of those old bee bags at the race tomorrow. Yeah, well, I'm gonna give her a chance. You are? Not without talking to Pi, you're not. Oh, my gosh. What time is it? It's almost two. Oh, Lex, you still have your lessons. We have dinner at six. Hang dinner. Hey, Logan. It's a stupid idea Pa had. I mean, taking in an orphan, and everybody's laughing at us. What do you care what other people think? Well, I can't wait to meet him. I'll race you back to the house. You gonna let a 10-year-old girl beat you? Run, Lexi! <laughs> hey, Lexi! Hey, come here! <laughs> I'll see to the horses. You've got enough on your hands. Thank you, Isaac. Don't be long, Sean. Yes, ma'am. <gasps> come on, girl. All right, thank you. I think what your father's doing is wonderful. People in town are taking you for a fool. Well, Bonner James gave me this cartoon to put in my newspaper. That's Ned Logan pulling a wagon full of pint-sized cutthroats and thieves. Well, I think you captured my likeness pretty well, don't you? <laughs> People are not going to trust you with their business if they're laughing at you over cars. Sorry. Uh, Megan. And if you're not going to think about yourself, you need to think about your children. Because Sean is about to marry into one of the most prominent families in all of Kentucky. I do not think that they're going to want a street urchin for a relative. Just a boy, Megan. How much trouble could he be? That's three to me. Lexington next. Lexington, Kentucky. <laughs> Lexington next. <laughs> well, I guess I have to call. Three of a kind. <laughs> Full house. All I got's two pair. Two aces and two more aces. <laughs> yes! Hey, I had an ace. Thank you, gentlemen. Ladies. <laughs> That's him, in the corner. You're Jeremy Bradford? Yes, sir. I thought you were 12 years old. Yes, sir. Well, I can explain that. You gonna get us our money back, sir? Tell me something. How many hands did he lose before he took that last pod? Four? Five. Or five? <laughs> Empty your pockets. What? You had no problem taking the money from this young man when you thought he didn't know what he was doing. You take what's yours, but no more. The Children's Aid Society only places children between the ages of 7 and 15. And I thought that 12 sounded like a good age, a desirable age. How old are you? 17. See, I just missed the deadline by a couple of years. Why would a 17-year-old want to leave the big city and live on a horse farm in Kentucky? I have my reasons. Who was the young woman in the photograph? My mother. I offered you a home, and I'm going to stand behind that offer, but let's get one thing straight. Whatever schemes and con games you used in New York, you put behind you. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I want your word on it. You have my word. Welcome to Kentucky. <laughs> my grandfather, he came to this country 100 years ago. He built a, a life, an incredible life, for his family, out of nothing. This 
land. This land means everything to us. Whoa, 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 whoa. John, Clay, Alice, Lexi, this is Jeremy. You're awful big for 12. Go on. Sorry. Right. Hello. Hey. And you should have seen Celtic Miss Pop. She ran a mile and a quarter and 237 flat. Oh, you think she's ready to compete? I sure do. And after she wins the sweepstakes, we can enter her in the Derby. The Derby? What's that? Kentucky Derby. Biggest race and event in the country. If Celtic Miss can win at Churchill Let's Downing. not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just see how she does tomorrow. Oh, Clay, I know you're going to win, and then all the girls are going to want to dance with you at the engagement party. Sean is getting engaged to Vivian Winters. Her father is the richest man in Kentucky. Lexi! <laughs> Lexi, that's not why I'm marrying. Well, it's going to be the biggest wedding this county's ever seen. All right, Lexi, that's enough. Come on, Clay, I'll teach you how to waltz. I don't see why I have to learn how to dance. <laughs> you don't know how to. <laughs> Come on, Alice, play for us. Lexi. Oh, all right. Well, you boys are going to have to catch your own cake. Lexi, I... I was... Whoa! Hello? I ran into Ace of Winters in town. Told me you took a loan out from the bank. That goes seeds in. It's expensive, and I have to hire hands to help plan. Sean. We're horsemen. Have been for six generations. All the way back to County Cork, Ireland. I know. If you want the land for crops, all right. I can go along with that. I won't stand by and see a loss to the bank. I'm not going to lose it. OK, come on. Let's show them how we really dance. Pick it up, Alice. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on now. Margaret says this blue brings out the color of my eyes. Oh! She says that I should have three more made the same color for my trousseau. Oh. But I said I couldn't do anything until I talked to you. To me? Yes. Well, what do you think? Let's see. Do you think this blue brings out the color of my eyes? I think you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. And I'll be a lucky man I have you as a wife. Oh, Sean. <laughs> You won't flatter her, you. <laughs> now, I understand we're competing against each other, Mia. That makes me somewhat biased. But do you really expect to win a horse race with that filly? She can beat any horse here. <laughs> Young lady, did anybody ever teach you children to be seen, not heard? No, but I did learn to into others as others. Lexi! <laughs> Boy, that youngin's got a mouth on her, Ned. Just says what she thinks. Celtic Miss has got a good chance of winning the sweepstakes. And when she does, we're going to bring her to Churchill Downs. Ned, uh, I understand that uh, orphan boy of yours robbed a couple of men on the train. Oh, was it a robbery of winners? It was a misunderstanding. No, I thought it must be. Same as his being 17 instead of 12. Let's calm down. Yes. <laughs> well, William. Yes, Father. You heard the man? Looks like this filly's a horse to beat. Yes, Father. Ain't as ungentlemanly as it may seem to beat your future brother-in-law. <laughs> I'm counting on you to do your best. Yes, sir, I will. Oh, Alice, there's 
friends like Megan Boone with your father. I told you she has her eye on him. Mm, you're right. I ordered the fabric for your bridesmaid's gown. It's coming all the way from Paris. Sorry. Uh, excuse me, sir, you dropped your watch. What? Hey! No. Hey, Clay, congratulations. What do you think you're doing? Oh, he dropped his watch. You stole it. No, uh, I returned it. I saw it. you. You know, I am not gonna let you warm your way into our family so that you can steal from our friends. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm watching you. He's beautiful, isn't he? Mm-hmm. My father paid $5,000 for him. That's a lot of money for a horse, isn't it? This isn't just any old horse. He's an Andalusian. They belong to the King of Spain, and he won't let hardly any of them out of the country. My father's been offered twice what he paid, <laughs> but he won't sell. Why not? He's gonna breed him to our thoroughbreds, start a whole new line. <laughs> What's New York City like? Mm, it's all right. What do you do there for fun? Um, mostly chuck a luck and betting on the dog fights at Jerry's Tavern on 5th Street. Dog fights? Mm-hmm. And, uh, and once I went to a burlesque show, you know, where the ladies dance. You're just teasing me. <laughs> Maybe. Are you a real orphan? I don't have any Mara Pop, if that's what you mean. Did you ever know them? I knew my mom. My mother died when I was born. Never even met her. Sometimes I think, well, if I hadn't been born, she'd still be alive. Working. Who's looking? <laughs> I am. You mean to tell me you can't take 10 minutes out of your day to go see where I'm gonna build my house? Oh, you found another perfect location. Hop on, I need your opinion. I, I can't, I'm working. Size, don't you have company coming for tea? Ooh, that's right, I forgot. Vivian, I gotta change my clothes, or maybe not. I don't have to change, do I? For tea with Vivian. I better change. <laughs> All right, all right. But tomorrow, 
Tomorrow we're going for that ride. I'll see if I can fit it into my busy schedule. All right, then. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Sean, I was just telling Alice, you'll never guess what Father is giving us as a wedding present. A year in Europe. A year? Isn't it incredible? That's what I said. Yes, yes, it's very generous, but I can't take a year off. Of course you can. Father's paying for it. Vivian, is that something you really want to do? Stay in Europe a whole year? <laughs> it will take us that long to see everything. Yeah. Good, Jeremy. Good. I bet you never saw a horse like Celtic Miss in New York City. Okay, I've got it. I'm ready to try it on my own. All right. But be careful. Whoa! Whoa! Jeremy! Jeremy, stop! Whoa! I think it's fractured. It's the carpal bone slab. We have to get her standing. And then what? The bone will never heal. They never do. She found her. You know what we have to do. No, you can't kill her, Clay. Maxie, she's in terrible pain. Isaac, can you put a splint on that leg? Ever seen it done on a horse? Watch your leg. Even with the splint, there's no guarantee the bone will heal. She might walk again, but she'll never run. No. Please, Pa. Please. All right, we'll give the splint a try. Let's get a plow horse and make a carry-all. She just took off. It wasn't my fault. Come here! Don't play! Come on! You want to go with me? Come on! Was it your fault? She's sick! Come on! Get off! Get off, man! Get off! Get off! All right, that'll be enough. That wasn't my fault! Go on, then, Clay! Let's go! Settle down! Stop it! That's enough! Go help the horse! Now go! Go help the horse! Go on! You all right? Look at me, you all right? Feeling better? I brought your cup. You'll never have to run another race. You just have to get well, okay? I'm telling you, he's trouble. It's not just about the horse, Paul. There are other things. Like what? I saw him steal Mr. Dunstan's watch at the racetrack. He took it right out of his pocket. And where is it now? He gave it back. I, he knew I was watching him. Do you hear how preposterous this sounds? You never want to believe anything I have to say. You believe some stranger off the street, but your own children, your own flesh and blood. Clay. Why do you challenge him all the time? Why don't you just believe him? He's impetuous. He speaks before he thinks. He needs to outgrow that. When my grandfather came to this country... I know. I know about your grandfather's troubled past. I know what coming to America meant to him. You've told us, Pat. You've told us a hundred times. He left us a legacy. To give others less fortune than we are a chance to turn their lives around. 
I want him to have that chance. I'll keep Jeremy with me in the fields for a few days. I'll keep an eye on him. She got you. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy was teaching us baseball. <laughs> Would you like to be on our team? Oh, uh, I don't think it's proper for a young lady to engage in sports activities. Uh, Mr. Logan, I was wondering what you would think about letting Lexi go with Sean and me to New York City for the season before we go to Europe. Lexi? Yes, she's old enough to begin to learn her way around polite society. Well, we haven't really discussed going to New York ourselves. I have obligations here. Well, Jeremy can come with us. He can show us around. That was very thoughtful of you to ask, Vivian. Perhaps after you and Sean have a chance to talk about it. Oh, Vivian, wait until you see your cake for the engagement party. It has doves on top. Yeah, tomorrow's a big day. Miss? That's all right. I'll do it. No, Sean. <laughs> Have you been standing there? About an hour. <laughs> I need to talk to you about something. What is it? Well. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, see, I had a friend who was about to be engaged to a young woman. A very sweet young woman. <laughs> yeah. And he realized, through a sequence of events, that he, he really wasn't in love with her. That, in fact, he was in love with someone else. Someone he's loved for years, if only he had stopped long enough to think about it. What do you think you should do? Why are you telling me this? Because I need to know what you think. There is no, no hope for uh, 
your friend and this other woman. Well, I, I, I don't know about that. I do. It would be wonderful if there was a chance for them, but there isn't. Do you know that there is a law against looking as beautiful as you? No, but I do know Irish Blarney when I hear it. Fortunately, I like Irish Blarney. <laughs> Lexi. You know how to dance? Right out. I think I could probably manage a step or two. Poor Alice. She hates William. Do you think we should go rescue her? Excuse me, I'm sorry. May we cut in? Well, if... <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, sure. It was so sweet of your father to invite the servants to our party. Marita's not a servant. She's Pa's secretary. She's a good friend of the family. Stop! Stop the music! Stop! That man is a thief. <laughs> my pocket watch. The gold one you gave me for my 16th birthday, Father. I was showing it to Jeremy just a few minutes ago. And now, it's missing. Check his pockets. I didn't take it. Are you calling me a liar? You gave me your word. I didn't take it. Obviously, there's been some kind of misunderstanding. Are you accusing William of fabricating this story? I think we should all remember that we are here to help Sean and Vivian celebrate a joyous occasion. And we shouldn't let anything get in the way of that celebration. Well, Sean, I believe you have an announcement to make. Sean?
I'll be expecting payment on your loan in full by the end of the week. Let's go, William. Show them. Someone please tell me what is going on around here because I don't recognize any of you anymore. What has happened to all of you? Nothing's happened to us. You've been so busy trying to save the world, you've forgotten what your real family looks like. I haven't forgotten how a Logan is supposed to behave. No? Is that how we're supposed to behave? To lie, steal, and cheat? We haven't changed, Paul. You have. Why didn't you come talk to me before the engagement party? Before you embarrassed Vivian, embarrassed yourself? I embarrassed you. What? You think I'm proud of that? You think I'm proud of the way I handled myself, do you? No. So what are you going to do now? I gotta give Ace and Winters my land to pay back the loan. Pa. You know, all my life, I, 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 I tried to do everything you asked me to do. Be who you wanted me to be. But my dreams, Pa, the, the, they're not your dreams. Sure. No, Pa, no. I think it's time to go my own way. I'm gonna leave Lexington as soon as I can. Doing the best I can without you, Libby. It's funny. I could always talk to my mother. I remember. And I could always talk to you. You still can. I'm going away. No. I can't stay here and see you every day and know that there's no hope. I can't do that. Sean, when I said there's no hope, but... I know, I know what you meant. And I want you to know that I can never marry anyone unless I feel about him the way I feel about you.
Jeremy? Yeah, yeah. Would you like to talk? Um, I'm kind of tired. Oh. Well, good night then. Night. Jeremy. I'm glad you're here.
I'm gonna pay off the loan on your land. You can still leave if you like. I can sure use someone who knows something about raising tobacco to get the crop going again. If anyone else is thinking about leaving, I'd appreciate hearing about it. No? We're good. We got a lot of work ahead of us to put this place back in order. Come on, sweetheart. Jeremy. Thanks. I think this next year is going to be a good one for the Logan family. Ah. And I expect each and every one of you to do your part. <laughs>